Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Scott Legacy. Uh, today, Lilith is going to go to her first day of work at the top of her career. We are not going to go with her, um, however, I'm just going to send her there on her own. And the kids are going to school today, and someone broke the sink. Um, and so possibly when they get home, we might try again to do the newspaper club. I'm almost thinking of scrapping that idea as well, but like we have the Scott ladies, and since I have fun with the Scott ladies, I'm thinking that I'm also going to start a club called um, the Scott Gentlemen or something like that. I haven't actually done it, but I think it might be kind of fun to do just because Linux is not going to be alive for too much longer. Um, actually, we don't want open invitation because we just want people in our family, and right now that's just Jackson and Lucifer, <clears throat> so it's not a very big club. Um, I don't really know about the requirements, but we'll have them do some fun things, so maybe they could, you know, go out to a restaurant. I actually haven't... Um, created the sports bar that I want to do, but I did put a seafood restaurant down, so maybe we could take them there, and that would be kind of fun for their first uh, get-together. Um, what else could they do? They could listen to music, that would be fun. Um, trying to think of a few other things that they can do together. They could maybe play cards, um, maybe darts. I guess, isn't there one that's like, play physical games? That could be. We'll do that. Um, and let's see. Play pub games. Maybe that's what we can do and we can get rid of this. Because I'm thinking that cards might be a pub game as well. Um, and then maybe they could hang out by the fire. Because guys love to do that, right? <laughs> um, as far as... Uh, band activities. I can't really think of any. Obviously we need to give it a name. Scott Gentleman. For some reason I almost had a brain fart and couldn't remember how to spell gentleman. <laughs> um, let's see. What looks like a manly icon? <laughs> I forget what we used for the woman, but um, hmm. Maybe they could be cool with the glasses and, um, yeah, we're not going to do any hangout place so that they can kind of go where they want to go. And, um, I think that will be our plan then is to take them out because Lennox should be leaving us pretty soon and that's kind of sad. So, um, she should be getting ready to go to work here soon. They, I need to make sure that they are both in a good mood. Uh-oh, you need to be going off to school. And yeah, they're both in a relatively good mood. So Jackson here, um, I don't believe he's painted. Did he ever? He didn't even finish this one, did he? Yeah, he did. I don't know why it looked unfinished to me, but um, we'll sell that. I think he still, yeah, he still needs to make five masterpieces. So let's see, can he, wrong button, can he actually get the one reward where you can be, um, what is it called, where they are more likely to make, here, the creative visionary, and, oh, he already has it, well, that helps then, so let's have him <laughs> do, let's see. Let's try a realism painting. You, okay. Just wanted to make sure that you were definitely going off to school. And you're not in a focused mood anymore, of course. And you don't have too much time, but let's have you ponder moves and maybe that'll put you in a good mood for work. Um, Jasmine, when you get up, which, oh. So I moved around the plants a little bit. I moved some of her plants outside so that I could put the chef, sta uh, chef station <laughs> in the house so that when they learn the um, 
new experimental food dishes, they can actually cook them back here. So we're going to send her alone. She can go off to work and have fun. And of course it's Monday, so the bills have arrived. So we'll have um, Lennox, <laughs> who's over here making up some cupcakes apparently. I thought he had one in his hand. Did he, um, what happened to it? Did he put it in his pocket? No? Hmm. <laughs> that cupcake machine is rather loud. Oh, it keeps disappearing on him. Oh, no, he's got it. Is he eating them? Like, just making one at a time and eating them? I didn't know that they could make one at a time. That's kind of interesting. Maybe that's just an interaction that they can do when they're um, hungry. And yeah, see, he's got one right there. So go ahead and eat that. And um, let's get this other one. Can we can we reach it without having to move the table? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. That was just bugging me. So he's going to eat his cupcake. And maybe Jasmine can eat this one. So he was thinking of his wife. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and open this and find that spoiled food. Is this what's spoiled? Looks like it. <clears throat> um, there might be more in here though. Let's see. Ew. Nasty pistachio gelato. And I think that's all that's spoiled in there, so we'll go ahead and sell that. Oh, <laughs> and they're gonna sit together and eat their cupcakes. Uh-oh. Trinity has to present in front of the entire class. She has some great ideas for how to jazz up her presentation, even if they're not exactly what the teacher asked for. Should she go all out or do what she was asked? Um, Trinity seems like the kind that would go all out. Um, the teacher loves it, but Trinity's classmates grumble that she made them all look bad. They're angry with her for throwing off the curve. Oh well, they'll get over themselves. <laughs> it's the way I see it. Maybe they should have tried harder. But, um, oh, I love the way he just looks at her like he's so in love. <laughs> it's very cute. Let's check on Jackson and see how his painting is coming. And actually, I'm going to have her work hard. Even though she can't get another promotion, I want her to get her performance up there. Because if we do um, max out her performance, uh, she will go up a pay grade. And that's a very nice painting, Jackson, but I don't think that it was um, quite good enough to be a masterpiece. So we're just going to put that in our inventory, because I actually like that. I think it could go well in... Um, a room hey, somewhere and yes I know you're hungry but you know what just um start that painting at least and then when you get too hungry um oh we do need Lennox to fix this and mop that puddle up when he's done um Jasmine since I don't trust the guys to cook and you have a pretty decent cooking skill I'm gonna have you make something what can you make anything over here I think you can um, but the one thing that is kind of disheartening is the fact that you can't make more than one serving of these at a time, and I do want her to make a whole meal of something that I can stick in the fridge so that people will have something to eat. Um, let's try the Eggs Benedict, and we'll do just a small four serving size of that. Lennox got some more upgrade parts, which I guess we could um, have him upgrade something. I'm trying to think of what. Where are you going to mop? You didn't finish mopping that puddle. Are there other... P oh no. This is not... Well, you know what? Don't mop that yet, because if you do, you're just going to have to redo it. Um, all right. So somebody's going to have to go mop that too when they're done. When you're done there, why don't you take a quick shower. And then you can scavenge for parts, mop that up, and then throw that away. Check on her and see how the eggs Benedict are coming. That looks kind of interesting. I actually don't know 
I'm going to sound kind of stupid here, but I don't know what Eggs Benedict is. Hmm. It's kind of interesting looking. I might have to look that up. Since I do have chickens, I've always got a lot of eggs. And um, looking for new ways to cook them. So that looks pretty interesting. Let's grab a serving of that when he gets done. See how this painting is going. Eh, not crazy about it, so we'll probably just sell it. Check on Linux here. He's doing pretty good. He's about to scavenge for parts, and then we can take and throw away the trash. Oh, <laughs> Jasmine is coming to his rescue, and so he doesn't actually have to mop that up. Um, and since these two are, I'm going to let them woohoo, you know. I know that that's not really a good thing for elders to do, but one time's not going to hurt them. At least I hope not. <laughs> then maybe um, Jasmine will be in a flirty mood and she could actually do a flirty sculpture in this bush out here. Perhaps, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> they both look so thrilled to be woohooing in the closet. Or are they not going to woohoo in the closet? Are they going to woohoo in a different closet? <laughs> Probably the one up in their bedroom, I'm thinking. <laughs> yep, that's where they're going. I guess they didn't want to do that in their daughter's closet. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> and Jackson's just sitting down there eating his breakfast without a care in the world. Are you gonna go get that other bowl over there? No? Of course not. I always have to leave me to clean up after you. So let's go sell that painting and we're gonna start another one and I cannot believe that he has not painted yet not even one masterpiece. At least since he got to this tier. He may have painted one a long time ago. Um. Let's do surrealism, and we'll try large, maybe, I don't know. He also needs to take a shower, though, so that he can be in a good mood when Lucifer gets home from school and the guys can go out and have dinner together. Um, yeah. How are these two doing? Seem to be in a good mood. <laughs> I think they both... Or no, she's got the hung up moodlet, and he has the hung up moodlet too. So I guess that probably wasn't the best place for elders to woohoo, but they didn't get the exhausted moodlet. And they're both seem to be, well, she's completely satisfied and he's pleasantly satisfied. So I'd say that was a success. <laughs> And, you know, I just thought about it, but the last time I took my club to a restaurant, it didn't actually work, so I don't know. Hmm. We might need to go to a bar and just have them do that, I guess. Um. Oh, look, she's actually doing it on her own. I didn't even tell her to, but she's not doing a flirty shape. She's doing... An inspired shape? Hmm. I'm curious to see what she's gonna make though, so let's speed it up just a little bit and see. And the kids will be home from school very shortly here. <laughs> oh, Trinity. Yeah, sure, Zara can come over too, even though Lucifer won't be around to hang out with her. And Lucifer swiped a book while he was at school. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, but now they're home from school, and that's actually a really neat shape. I mean, hmm. Impressive. <laughs> I know I can't prune bushes that well. Which is something I actually did do today. We've got a rose bush right outside my office window and it's always growing crazy wild and when my husband cuts the grass he gets hung up on it because it's got thorns <laughs> so that's not too fun and oh my favorite painting 
We do have one of these already, so I'm kind of hoping that this might be a masterpiece. Let's see. Then he needs to go take his shower, and we can send the boys out. Um, he's just standing there. Where's Zara at? Maybe he can talk with her for a minute. Oh, she's going upstairs before they leave. Brighten her now. Oh, that's right. We He can complain about the bills. That's kind of funny. But I do need to pay those, so. Um. Oh, she's feeling flirty, too. Would probably be a good time to spend some more time with her, but we've got plenty of that. Um, Lennox won't be around forever, so we do need to hang out with him for a little while. So pay those bills. And then, um... Then we'll go ahead and start this gathering. And I don't think he made a masterpiece yet again. That stinks. Maybe I need to put something... Let's enable the emotional auras of these things because that might help him if he's really inspired. <laughs> They're going to be, be feeling super inspired when they go in here. Um, but anyway... Let's go ahead and start this gathering. And um, let's travel. Thought it was going to give us the option to travel or stay here. But let's see. Shrieking Llama. Uh, Shrieking Llama is always so small. What about the old quarter? We'll, we'll go there. All right. So let's restart the gathering since it um, kicked them out of one. And I can't believe poor Jackson. He's very sick. <laughs> He's got the gas and giggles. Um, I don't think there's a computer here that they can actually order anything from. Nope. So let's just have them go on in here, and I think that, are any of them hungry? No. But let's have him go order a happy hour drink. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Sparkling water. Hmm. I think maybe he would want, oh wow, that's an expensive drink. Hmm. Dim and Gusty. That sounds kind of good. Or Sea Splash. Let's go for that one. And we'll have him get one too. And oh gosh, he's feeling so playful. Um, we'll just have him get this. And why don't you actually go ahead and get a root beer float while you're at it? You may be a teenager, but there's no reason you can't enjoy a beverage with your dad and grandfather. <laughs> and Venus, I guess Venus decided she wants to be one of the guys. <laughs> She's like, wait a second, why wasn't I not invited here? And <laughs> this guy, somebody's crying in the closet. I wonder who it might be. We'll have to see when they get out. Oh. Order your drink! I wanted you to have something. Let's get a ridge fork. Let's see who this is crying in there. Apparently the bartenders are not very, um... Let's have him join this. Oh, there she is. Pearl Olsen. Or Perla. Perla? That's a weird name. He's waiting for his drink and playing, apparently. Yeah, just get your drink. I mean, you're supposed to be hanging out with these guys. Oh, gosh. But I guess you could just have a seat with Venus. <laughs> can't believe that he didn't know that Venus was an alien. It's not like she's hiding it from anyone. And he's, uh... Oh! Jackson lost Don't Wake the Llama. Let's see what the moodlet says here. 
camaraderie. Oh, the llama almost fell. No, it did fall. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to mention that the kids' room stuff did come out yesterday, and I got it, and I decided that I don't want to have um, Lilith and Jackson have another child or adopt, which was kind of what I was thinking of doing. Um, I'm just going to wait to try out that pack with Jackson's kids once um, he's old enough to actually have some. But I did get to play it for a little while, and I think that the um, a kids club with the new Void Critters game could be really fun. So that's something that we'll probably try too, but... Um, I haven't delved too deep into that stuff yet, but at least these two are playing together, and why don't you come join them? Or actually, is there a dartboard? Because I think that, yes, there is one here. Let's have them play this. Instead of Don't Wake the Llama. Because that seems like that or the foosball table, too. We'll have them play a little bit of this before I end the part, but at least Jackson, or not Jackson, Lennox got to spend at least one more good time with his family before he passes on, which seems like he's going to just keep on trucking. I keep thinking that he's going to drop one of these times on me, and he hasn't so far. Um, maybe in the next part we will check out that seafood restaurant, though, just as the family together. Um, I am really enjoying the restaurants, if you all can't tell. <laughs> but, um, oh, she's watching the new channel, the In Between TV or whatever it is. What is it? I forget exactly what it's called. Between TV. <laughs> Lennox looks like he's not too happy. Maybe he didn't score very well. Oh, and now it's bear night. But we're not going to be dressing up in bear suits. <laughs> Jackson seems to be doing pretty good at it. Let's see how Lucifer does. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the part. And in the next part, um, like I said, maybe we'll take the whole family out to the seafood restaurant that I built. Which is also in Windenburg. Wow. He just about got Lennox's toe with that one. <laughs> so that is definitely not a good thing. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that was a pretty bad one. So I think that Jackson did the best out of the three of them. But I can't quite tell. I don't think that they've actually finished the game yet. Oh, he didn't do so good that time. <laughs> But at least he didn't almost get somebody else's toe. Oh, I spoke too soon. Wow, that was really close. Poor Lennox. You're going to end up dying of um, your family stabbing you. <laughs> he didn't give him a very good look either. That was kind of funny. Oh, but look, he's not doing much better. At least nobody's foot was there. <laughs> I think they just all stink at darts and they need to practice and get better. So we're just going to say that Jackson was the winner there because I think in the first round he did the best. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.